It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we've got a pair of teams who not long ago had more Super Bowls than anybody else. It's the boys and the 49ers. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 23. The EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. It's the team of the 80s versus the team of the 90s. The Niners, the Cowboys, they're underway. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. going to start out going to the air over the middle hauled in by Lamb and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two a good safe pass there right off the bat that's almost a rhythm play that's what we like to call it get them into rhythm early something safe something they're confident about something they feel good and once that's completed then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he'll take this forward to the 27. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. down Prescott got an open man it's Michael Gallup and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 it's a gain of 12 and the Cowboys pick up the first to win any route you've got to break down the defender and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 
Play action now. Prescott. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Eight yards to go on second down. Prescott now. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw is Prescott. Saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. So here are the 49ers and their offense in great field position already. They'll be led out by the former number three overall pick back in 2021. It's Trey Lance. And just think about what his ceiling in the NFL could be because when you go back to his one collegiate season as a starter, the full season, he went undefeated, didn't throw an interception, and ran him for over 1,000 yards as well. When you see him hit the field, you see a possible superstar in the making. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And a nice little start as he's able to get this up to the 28. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. to the ground on first it's McCaffrey shifts by him and inside the 20 before he's brought down he'll get a dozen there and it's a first down 49ers usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game but this guy is setting the tone early running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels to back good plays have them on the move on first down and Lance now to throw flush to his right and he wisely will throw that one away this is where good coaching and execution come into play because down this close you absolutely don't want to turn it over good job keeping that in mind as he escaped bought time and decided throwing it away was his best option so after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing his lance on third down. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion.
Now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from 33. Gonzalez's kick is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. To the field goal. Here's Gonzalez to kick it off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more, thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Prescott. Able to hit his target land. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. So first and 10 now from the 30. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Prescott off play action. Throwing left side, it's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 40. A gain there of 21 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 right at the 40. Here's Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, Pollard here once again, back-to-back -back catches. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Prescott looks to throw on first. 
And he's got his man in stride, complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a gain of 20. As we're going down to 20 seconds left in the quarter. He certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. And again, it's Prescott. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Pollard going to try the right side. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four. Now third down. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. Here's Prescott. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Tristan Viscano for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This take it in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it in with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive dead with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On first down, Lance. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get that one into the hands of Christian McCaffrey. But it'll be second down. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be. And that'll send them back to the drawing board. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing now is Lance. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. 
I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. This is taken at the 23. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dak and the Cowboys ready for their next possession. The returns on the last drive, pretty good. Seven for seven, touchdown pass. Probably take that, right? I would say so. I mean, when you're cutting them apart that way, feeling so accurate, so confident going downfield, and then able to culminate by putting it in the end zone, oh, yeah, he's feeling real good right now. Now he'll try to carry that over to this drive. A first down throw for Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. He moves the sticks. And that's patience to be admired right there because he looks left, looks right, and waits for the right guy to come open, spots him in the middle of the field, and delivers. Start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. have him on the move on first down here's Pollard again oh and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30 yard line back to back nice plays 12 yards that time and a first down would you say this offense is locked in right now they're having no trouble on this drive what is it three plays three first downs yeah you talk about on the march they keep this up they'll get to that end zone real fast They show run with three tight ends here on first down. On play action, Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and sent him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. Let's go, let's go, let's go. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. Buying time to his left. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Looking to throw, Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott as his guys are able to extend their lead. 
CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Point after, right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 11. A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And the 49ers settling in for their next drive. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Throwing on second down, Lance. Yeah, that one too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Taking a shot for Samuel. He's got a man complete. They give him a gain of 37. And that might be exactly what they need to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given him much to cheer for so far. Never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Lance to throw it. Over the middle complete. That's Jennings. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. Throwing again on second down, Lance. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Neville Gallimore powering his way in and burying him. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Oh, 
Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. Here's Lance. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Lance looking to throw it. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. From the two now, second and goal. Now Lance going to throw. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the 49ers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14-10. A 10-play drive that time. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half first down Prescott and that's complete to Cooks now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play Second down and three. Yeah. 
Prescott now. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Final play of the half, Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime. Sorry, Coach. We'll catch up with you after the game. We're going to skip through halftime here and headed back to the field for the third quarter. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Taking in at the three. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Lance and the 49ers now, first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And Lance now to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On second down, McCaffrey. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. Yeah, the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. To throw, it's Lance. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jennings. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Now a play fake. Lance. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On play action. Lance. And this is caught, Jennings. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one covers 29 yards, first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive.
So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 27. Lance looks to throw again. That one complete to his receiver, Jennings. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Now Lance, over the middle complete, it's Jennings. And the Niners are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. McCaffrey is in. Touchdown 49ers. So part of it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows its versatility and gets both done on this drive. Gonzalez to add the PAT. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. After the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, uh, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. On first and 10, Prescott able to hit his target lamb. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. To throw is Prescott. Throw right side, take it in by Gallup. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just, I, they move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open, probably because of his movement out of the pocket. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. The Nick Bosa is so quick on the outside. He gets in there to bring him down. 
That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go before the pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. Following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Prescott to throw it. On the left side, Gallup's got it. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Throwing, Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. Throw it across his body and it's intercepted. And the 49ers are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. you got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Dances by at the 20. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The corner, Stephon Gilmore on the stop. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field sees that the ball's moved to the middle, and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And got his man complete. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, Go long. Go get it, big man. And if you're wondering how fast he was going, next-gen stats clocked him at close to 21 miles an hour. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. the touchdown here's Gonzalez on to kick it away take it in at the three 
And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. As this offense takes the field again, C.D., remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw. Prescott steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. To throw again on second down, Prescott. And Cooks has it over the middle. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Scott from the gun. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And again, it's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Lamb. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 34. Now Prescott. Another one to C.D. Lamb. He's got it. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone. First down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 
It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Touchdown! Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Lance looking to throw it. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Again, it's Lance. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. This is McCaffrey on the give. 
And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. He won't find a ton of space following the display of power as he's down just inside the 45. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Lance to throw it. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. Yeah, and on third down, you know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play to force fourth down. They'll go for it. Lance. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. And he's out of bounds inside the 30. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. I can hear it right now that most people in our business are saying, why aren't they running the football? But I happen to agree with this strategy. They've had success all game long. I don't think they should go away from it. Too often, teams go into that protect mode and end up giving away the football. This team has stayed aggressive and is working out for them. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. That's caught by Ayuk on the slam. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. From the shotgun to McCaffrey, he will push his way down to about the 14. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Here's Lance. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. 
That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's Debo Samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception. the touchdown here's Gonzalez on to kick it away and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line so Dak and the Cowboys down by 10 a minute 46 to go how will this thing pan out we'll watch as they come up on first down Here's Prescott. Into the hands of Cooks. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. Now Prescott. Complete, Pollard. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Dak. Able to find Gallup. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. To throw Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Scott. And incomplete on the deep ball. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Dak. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Prescott to throw. He's brought down after a very nice game. 
Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory.